are you? Apparently better than you, Beauty. You look like a drowned rat. Oh, you <laughs> Look what you've done to me, Alicia. You've ruined my dress. Oh, don't make such a fuss, Pauline. You bought two new coats today. True, sister. Hmm, maybe you want to come shopping with us one day, Beauty. But I forgot. You like to visit the poor section of the city. Your clothes are perfect. You fit in with all the beggars who live there. <laughs> This can't be. I know these clerks who run our offices in these cities. I hired them all myself. They're, they're very, very good men. They're thieves, Father. Oh, it's all our fault. We gave them the right to run our business. Are you sure? They can't be thieves. I trusted them. I don't trust thieves. There's nothing left. They've stolen all our money and run off. Oh, my. Are you sure? Ah, our ships, though. We still have our lovely ships. No. no. Ooh. Tell him, Nathan. Tell him. All three ships are a month overdue. We, we've had reports they were caught in a typhoon in the China Sea. Are you saying we've lost everything? Oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah, everything except our creditors. We still owe a great deal of money, Father. And we will pay them every last penny we owe them, even if it means selling everything I own. I will not cheat anyone. Ah, and how is my beauty today? Oh, Father, I couldn't be better. I've spent the day among the less fortunate bringing them food. You should see the look on their faces when someone helps them. Oh, Beauty, my dearest daughter, I'm afraid it's our own family which will soon be in need of help. Oh, stop making such a fuss. And you've already slept half of it away. Oh, what's so beautiful about it? We're still living in this miserable peasant shack, aren't we? And not so much as a, a single young man is called upon us in a year since father lost all his money. Well, we've got our health. Our family is still together and we've enough to eat. Speaking of which, get busy, lazy bones, and make us some breakfast. Yes, and try to do better than that curdled milk you brought with our eggs yesterday morning. I'll start on it as soon as I return from bringing the men their lunch in the fields. I'll start on it as soon as I return from bringing the men their lunch in the fields. <laughs> it's a wonder she doesn't do their work for them as well. Disgusting how she always tries to make herself father's favorite. <sighs> Pauline, wake me when breakfast is ready. Wake yourself. I'm going back to sleep. And how are you today, Missy? <laughs> Father! Robert! Nathan! I brought your lunch! Oh, please. Please don't let it be bad news. Beauty, beauty, wait until you hear the good news. One of Father's ships we thought lost has docked in the harbor, and it's the largest of our ships, filled with goods, no doubt. Oh, Nathan, that's wonderful. Oh, buy me some dresses, Father. Lots and lots and lots of beautiful dresses like a duchess would wear, please. I want jewels, Father, rings and necklaces and a diamond brooch. <laughs> now, now, my little petunias. We're not rich yet, you know. We don't even know if there's any cargo on that ship. 
Huh? What do you mean? There has to be cargo, Father. The Golden Swan was returning from Shanghai where she was supposed to pick up spices and, and tea and, and silks. <laughs> We're rich again. <laughs> We're rich. We'll return to the city in a golden carriage and every man will want to marry us. I'll only marry a Count or a Duke. Just picture it. Duchess Alicia, I love it. And Countess Pauline. <laughs> 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 and what can I bring you as a gift from the city, Beauty? Oh, I don't know, Father. I suppose a rose would be nice. I do miss having roses since we moved out here. <laughs> then a beautiful rose as sweet as you, you shall have. A rose! <laughs> what a silly thing to ask for! Now hurry, Father. The faster you get to the city, the faster you can return with our gifts. Here's the bill of lading, Father, so you can make sure the ship's captain hasn't cheated us out of any cargo. I'll be back in a few days. Whoa, horsey! Come back in a carriage, Father. A fine, beautiful carriage. And don't forget my jewels. Oh, my dresses! Bring me my beautiful dresses, Father. I shall. And I'll remember your rose. Beauty! A rose. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose simple people are happy with simple things. <laughs> the Golden Swan. Yes, yes, my friend, it's right over here. Had a rough time of it, I understand, from the captain. Caught in a typhoon, nearly uh, sunk then put into a remote island for three months of repairs. At least she made it, eh? Aye, what there's left of her. Ah, it's a miracle she made it, if you ask me. Ooh, I want to inspect the cargo holds. The cargo holds? Oh, wait, 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 it's dangerous to go on board. I, uh, I think we better have a talk first. Listen here. Let me just look at my cargo, Harbor Master, and we'll talk afterwards. But, but, sir. Yeah, Harbor Master, I'll not ask you again. Now open the cargo hatch. As you wish. Here we are, light a lamp. As you can see, she took on much water during the typhoon. But you said the ship was repaired. Aye, only enough for her to make sail. My spices, they're ruined. I'm afraid so, sir. These tea leaves are useless. Silk, it's good for nothing now. Uh. And what of the other holds? How much of my cargo was salvaged? I, uh, I thought you knew. The cargo was a complete loss. A uh, complete loss? Aye, the ship as well, I'm afraid. It's damaged beyond repair. Uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps you can sell some of it for scrap. Scrap to pay some of my creditors? Oh, my children will be so disappointed. I'm, uh, I'm terribly sorry, man. The sea, she can be a cruel mistress when she wants to. I, she can indeed. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, my children had such high hopes. Oh, how can I tell them we're as poor as when I left them? Uh, rain. Yes! Go ahead and rain, you miserable sky! Uh, no worse misfortune can befall me this night. Oh, I know, old girl. It's a night neither man nor beast should be out on. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't recognize this part of the forest. Where are we? Hey, come on, girl. Let's try to find our way back to the road. Ooh, this reminds me of the enchanted forest my mother told me about when I was a boy. Now, that was a long time ago. I remember she said there were three-eyed trolls and man-eating giants and magical creatures. <laughs> Don't worry, girl. It was probably just a story. <laughs> Did I hope? I can't remember passing through that. I must be getting old. Ah, maybe it leads to the road. A magnificent place. <laughs> A castle in the midst of the forest. My mind must be going, old girl. <laughs> well, crazy or not, I won't pass up the chance of food and lodging for the night, that's for sure. Hello? 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 Is anyone here? I've never heard such silence, have you, girl? Ooh, I've got a feeling someone's inviting you in. Hey, will you rest in a warm stable tonight? Hello? Is the master of the castle here? Yeah. I'm a traveler who's lost his way. I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, I know I must have lost my mind. But that's what it is. Yeah, it's too much pressure, see? Yeah, first the money, then the ships, and then... Wonder after wonder. What am I to make of... Why, that's no magic I smell. That's roast beef. And chocolate pie. It looks like, if I can trust my eyes, which I'm sure I can, I'm expected. Oh, well, well, thank you, kind chair. <laughs> I think I will sit down. Most considerate of you. Now that'll be enough. <laughs> well, I do believe I'm old enough to cut my own food. <sighs> A most wonderful, exquisite, fabulous meal. I only wish I could thank my most generous host. Oh, this day has worn me out. <sighs> Well, perhaps my host will show himself to me in the morning. Well, for a good night's rest. Hmm. 
king. Still no master of the castle. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, whoever you are, kind sir. Uh, but by now, my children must be worrying, so I must take my leave. Not so much as a sound. I must have certainly lost my marbles. No one will believe me. Oh, my, oh, my. At least I'll be able to bring back what beauty asked for. A lovely world. So this is how you repay all my kindnesses? After all I've done for you, opening my home to you, giving you food and lodging, you dare to take what is not offered you? You dare to steal from me? Oh, please, generous lord, I mean no harm. I only meant to be... To steal what I love most in the world, my roses. Oh, please, my dear lord, I... Don't call me lord. I am a beast. <laughs> and don't argue. You'll pay for this with your life. See, I took the rose only as a gift for my daughter, Beauty. A daughter, you say? And name Beauty? Yes, my lord. I mean, beast, not lord. See, I am a failed and broken man, yet all she asks of me is this little rose. This changes things. I will strike you a bargain. You may go home and ask Beauty if she will die in your place. I could not think of such a thing. Do as I tell you! And if she will not come, then at least you will have been able to see your daughter one last time. But I tell you this, if neither you nor Beauty return, I shall seek you out and destroy you both. Now go and take the rose you've stolen from me. And no jewels for me. <laughs> I'm afraid not, my daughters, for I have not so much as a penny more than when I left you. Oh, Father, we're just so happy to have you back safely with us. I did bring back one gift. Oh, Father, you brought me my rose. Yes, cherish it, my dear, for it will cost me my life. What do you mean? <sighs> Gather round, my children, and I'll tell you about the terrible beast I met and the price I must pay for having plucked this rose. No, no, no! There's got to be another way, Father! Robert and I could go with you. Between the three of us, we could overpower the beast and kill it! Uh, we? Nathan, you would not say that if you saw the beast. It is beyond imagination. It must have the strength of ten men. But who will take care of us after you've gone, Father? Yeah. Hey, boys, promise me you will look after your sisters as I would. I packed you something to eat along the way, Father. My precious beauty. So brave and generous. Now I know I've done the right thing by letting him kill me instead of... Instead of who, Father? Oh, nothing. It's nothing. Absolutely nothing. It was something. You were going to say something. Be still, Pauline. It's beauty, isn't it? 
The beast said she could go in your place. It's all your fault. You had to have a rose. She should go instead of you. Yeah. Girls, that's enough. They're right, Father. They're right. Please forgive me. Robert, will you saddle a horse for me? No, Beauty. I won't let you do this. It's her fault. If Beauty hadn't asked for the rose. I told you to be still, Pauline. Robert, I ask you to saddle a horse for me. Please. Father? No! It's out of the question! You're the head of the family. They'll be lost without you. Please, Father. If you love me, you'll let me do this. shouldn't have come, Father. This is my decision to make. I'm still your father, Beauty, and I have the right to beg for your life. It's a wonderful castle, isn't it? For me, it is a place of great sadness. The place of my greatest sadness. made this trip of your own free will? Yes. I gladly put myself in my father's place. Bravely said. But you seem not so brave when first I entered this room. I admit you strike fear in my heart, Beast. But I, I... I am grateful you have allowed me to take my father's place so his life might be spared. I see now why you named her Beauty. It was not for her face alone. Beast... Her heart is pure, and it is for that pure heart I now beg. A bargain is a bargain. She will take your place. You may rest here tonight, old man, but in the morning you must leave. Say your goodbyes then, for you shall never see your fair daughter again. It is only fitting. The loss of one so precious as you will be great. In some small way, this treasure may lessen your family's pain. I am in your gratitude, Beast. Well, I am not. Did you think a chest full of jewels and gold would wash away a pain beyond pain? This is of your doing. Now be gone before I strike you dead. I'll not leave without... Please, Father. Don't make this more difficult than it already is. Go and think kindly of me. Enough of this. Now leave this moment. Leave quickly, Father, and don't look back. And I am ready to meet my fate. Oh, 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 hot. Oh, how so hot. Oh, I better hurry. I, I just better hurry. Oh, watch that turn. Oh, I'm late. I am always late. <laughs> I don't have any regrets, and I'm not going to scream. Well, I should hope not, dearie. I may have my faults, but my cooking's never been known to make anyone scream. Okay, 
We dine at eight around here, honey, so you might be good enough not to come down until I've got the table set. You see, I'm late. But, but who are you? Oh, oh, I've just got to fix these doors someday. Hi, the name's Clara. I'm the cook, I'm also the housekeeper, the gardener, and in a pinch, I can do a bit of magic. My goodness, that's amazing. <laughs> well, it does come in handy on wash day. Now, honey, let's feed you. It looks to me like you could use a little meat on those bones. But, but where's the beast? Oh, don't worry, sweetheart, he's already eaten. No, I mean, I, I thought he was going to... Kill you? <gasps> I frightened you, didn't I? I frightened everyone. You didn't frighten me. I just didn't hear you coming. Eat your dinner, Beauty, and we shall speak tomorrow. Tomorrow? But I thought you meant to kill me. I cannot bring myself to do it. Consider this to be your castle. Whatever you want shall be done for you. Only do not ask to leave. Thank you for sparing my life, Beast. I will visit you each evening as you eat. Perhaps in time, you will see past my ugliness. Perhaps someday you will be my wife. <gasps> I understand. How could one such as yourself think of being the wife to a beast like me? Poor creature. How he must suffer looking as he does. But in which room am I to sleep? Spare me! Please, spare me! Filled with holes! All this castle is infested with moths, you know! Oh, Clara, oh, it's only you. Of course it's me. Who are you expecting? Oh, it's gonna take me a whole day to mend this thing. Oh, by the way, your room is second on the right. Thank you, Clara. Uh-huh. Kind beast. Hello, beauty. I am the fairy of the castle. And you've come to tell me Beast is really kind and gentle, no matter what he looks like on the outside? No, I come to warn you not to be fooled by him. He may act gently, but it is only to hide a heart of stone. Beware of the Beast, Beauty. Beware of him. It can't be. He couldn't. He couldn't. He couldn't. Oh, Clara, the greenhouse is so wonderful. Yeah, sure, sure it is. Just imagine, it's winter outside, yet we have all these beautiful flowers in here. Uh-huh, yeah, it's just great. Clara, how can you be so grouchy in this garden? How? You want to know how? Who do you think has to plant and water and fertilize these flowers? Maybe you think they just grow like this all by themselves, huh? <laughs> Let's arrange these flowers in the dining room. I want Bees to be pleased with them. Clara, you've been here for a long time, haven't you? Huh, too long if you ask me. What do you think of Beast? Honey, I make it a point never to talk about my boss. One night, a fairy came to me. I'm not sure if I was dreaming or not, but she told me Beast has a cold heart. 
Oh, I also make it a point never to listen to gossip. But what do you think of him? It doesn't matter what I think of him. All that matters is what you think of him. I've been here half a year and he's never shown me anything but kindness and courtesy. Then you don't have to rely on a fairy in a dream to tell you what you think of him, do you, dearie? Did you enjoy your meal, Beauty? As always, but why do you never eat with me? You eat as a human does. I am a beast, and I must eat as a beast does. But let's not speak of such things. Will you come out onto the balcony with me? Of course, but why? So we may enjoy the night. What a marvelous night. You're not cold. I'm never cold when you're near, Beast. Then come closer and dance with me. You dance so well. Even a beast can love music. But aren't you afraid to be in the arms of a monster like me? There are many men more monstrous than you. I would rather be in the arms of a beast whose heart is good than in those of a handsome man who is evil inside. Oh, beauty. Oh, beauty. This has been a glorious night, beast. How can I thank you? By being my wife. Won't you marry me, Beauty? How foolish of me to think you might accept. Dear Beast, I will always be your friend. Isn't that enough? No, it is kind of you, but it is not enough. Not nearly enough. And yet there is nothing I would refuse you. Nothing? Nothing in all the world. Then let me visit my father. You seek to take advantage of me in a weak moment. No, only to hold you to your word. You said you would refuse me nothing. For half a year I have not seen my family and I worry about them. You do not know what you ask. If you leave me, then I shall die of loneliness. One week. Just give me one week to visit my family. Then I will return to you. My heart could not bear to be apart from you longer. I would surely die if it was but a day more than the week you asked for. And I would not want you to die, dear beast. You have my vow that after one week I shall return. Then wear this ring tonight. When you awaken in the morning, you will be with your family. At the end of the week, you need only turn the ring, and you shall return to me. Oh, bless you, beast. Bless you. Blessed I already have been to know you. to bed and when I awaken I'll see father and my sisters and brothers I'm going home I'm going home at last
This is a golden opportunity for you, beauty. Once you are away from the castle, the beast cannot make you return, for he has let you go of his own free will. But if I do not return, he will die. He is a cruel animal. He deserves to die. But he seems so sweet. He told me. He lies. He will let you live in this castle one year. Then when he is tired of you, he will kill you like he has the others. Others? What others? Many young women have come before you, beauty. They thought the beast was gentle too. Now, only their spirits remain. Hear them, beauty. Hear their spirits in the night. you can. I'm home. I, I must be home. I'm not going to let some silly dream scare me. Not when I'm so happy. <laughs> Beauty! Oh no, she's back! Now all the men who come to call on us will want to marry Beauty! Ooh, just like before! She's not going to take our place, Alicia. I promise you that. And so, with the gold and jewels the beast gave me when I last saw you, we bought this house and moved back to the city. Somehow, in my heart, I knew you were still alive, my beauty. Oh, Father, just to be here is worth everything in the world. Yeah, sickening, isn't it? Oh, my dress! I'm sorry, Alicia. Beauty, uh, uh, now that you're back for good, uh, we can all enjoy the treasure the Beast gave Father. But, Robert, I promised Beast I could only stay for one week. If I stay any longer, he will die. Then let him die. No, Nathan, Beast is my friend. He treats me tenderly, with affection. And at his castle, nothing is denied me. I have riches beyond measure, beautiful gowns and perfumes, and the friendship of one who cares for me above all others. Oh, boy, it's so unfair that Beauty should be happier than we are. She lives like a queen, and all because of this beast. We'll see to it this beast who treats her so well dies. Then she will have nothing and will envy us. All we need do is keep her here longer than a week. <laughs> Alicia, is there something you'd like to share with us? I am the... Well, well, no, Father, I'm just so thrilled to have our dear sister home with us again. Father, this has been the happiest week of my life. <laughs> For me as well, Beauty, but I'm sad to see you go. I feel sure Beast will let me come visit you again sometime. Despite the way he looked when I saw him, I am content that you are with him. From what you've told me of the Beast, it sounds as if he cares for you. I could have no finer, more caring friend than he. I'll miss you, Father, and I shall miss my brothers. And Alicia and Pauline, too. They've been so sweet to me this week. I must confess, it pleases me to see your sisters treat you so. <laughs> Alicia, Pauline, what could be wrong now? <laughs> we can't stand seeing Beauty go. Please, Beauty, don't go. <laughs> you can't do this to us. But, but if I stay longer, Beast will die. We're your sisters, Beauty. We need you. We never realized how much we... love you before. Pauline, 
Sweet Alicia. Perhaps the magic of the beast is letting you feel these things after all these years. Of course! Uh, uh, it must be, and uh, um, uh, don't, don't you see that means it, it, it's all right with him that you stay a little longer? Well, I suppose I could stay one more day. Wake up, beauty! Yes, wake up. You're sleeping the day away. <sighs> Sleep is what I need after all the merriment we made yesterday. But that was just the start. Today we'll go ice skating in the park. No, Alicia. I really must return to Beast today. I've stayed away longer than I promised him. Then leave today. But the day is not yet done. At least go skating with us. Oh, it will be ever so much fun. <laughs> 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 it would be fun to go skating with my sisters. We've never done that, have we? Oh, good. Now hurry and get dressed. We packed a lunch, too. Remember, the longer we keep it from the beast, the better the chances he will die. <laughs> when I think of all the years we've wasted with our foolish bickering. Oh, can you ever forgive us, beauty? Let's just think about how happy we are now. Beauty's right. We should, should, should. Oh, ah! <laughs> Let's not laugh at her, Alicia. Help me get her up. Oh, all right. Seems like I spent half my time picking you up off the ground, you klutz. At least you can pick me up. It would take an army to pick you up. Now, girls, let's not bicker. I'll go buy us some roasted chestnuts. Wonderful idea. It's so wonderful. They're so nice, and I'm sure Beast himself would have approved. Clara! What are you doing here? Trying to save Beast's life, as if you cared. Care? Of course I care. You promised him you wouldn't stay longer than a week. But one extra day. Surely that wouldn't make a difference. Oh, no. Only the difference between life and death. <gasps> Just twist the ring and we'll return to the castle. All we can do is hope we're not too late. Beast, where are you? Beast, I've returned. Your beauty is back. Beast, please answer me. No. No, please. Just one extra day do this. I told you I could not live without you this long. But I die happily. At least I knew you for a short time. No! You can't be dead. Not my beast. No! No! What have I done? What have I lost? I would marry you, Beast. I would be your wife. If only you would come back to me. <laughs> I dreamt. I dreamt I heard the words I have waited so long to hear that you would marry me. 
It was no dream, my beast. I will marry you gladly. But where is my beast? I am he. Many years ago, a spell was placed on me by an evil fairy, and I was imprisoned in a beast's body. Only if a woman pure of heart would agree to marry me could the spell be broken. You are that woman, Beauty. And now, the spell is broken. And not a moment too soon, I might add. Oh! Ow! 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 Look at them. They're gonna be married. Get it, you miserable wretch? Your spell's been broken, and now you're powerless. You're the evil fairy? Ah, my evil sister. Oh, my ear! Beauty, to show my gratitude to you for breaking my sister's evil spell, you and your prince will rule this land forever. <laughs>